This kickball game is called Steal It. We play this in middle school, which is 6, 7, and 8. I think grade levels 4 to 9 would work perfect, though. The equipment needed are six hula hoops. It's good if you can have two of each color. It just makes it easier for the kids to know where they're supposed to go. One yellow or red rubber kickball and a set of pennies or nylon mesh color jerseys to differentiate um, the two teams. Steal rules. Kicker must kick the ball forward. Uh, we have them kick it forward past the free throw line. Base runners can leave a base at any time that they would like even if the pitcher has the ball, even if the pitcher is rolling the ball, they can leave. Runners do not have to leave so they can stay on that base as long as they want and you can have multiple runners on each base as long as they can fit inside the hula hoop. We would suggest telling the kids not to step on the hula hoop but step inside of it. Uh, base runners can lead off. They can also come back to the base that they, that they have left. Base runners must go to the correct base or they can get tagged out, and you'll see why here in just a second. Uh, ways to get out of the ball is kicked, um, and it is caught before it touches the ground. The kicker is out, um, even if it touches a ceiling or bounces off a wall, or in our case, you know, we have bleachers. If it, if it bounces off the bleachers, just as long as it's caught before it touches the ground, then that runner is out. If any runners get either tagged by the ball or hit by the ball, then they are also out. Defenders in the field must stay outside the free throw line until the ball is kicked, so there's no blocking of the kicked ball. And you play each half inning until three outs are reached. So you will see here that we have our defensive players here. We have a pitcher, and you want to make sure your pitcher you know, is able to pitch, but also is able to, I guess, focus on our runners at the same time, and we have our kicker here. So the ball is pitched. And it is kicked forward, and again, I said it has to be kicked forward past the free throw line. I believe we actually have a volleyball court outline here, so we have them kick it past the service line for um, our volleyball line. Now, at this time, you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So after the ball is kicked, our runner runs to first base. Now again, he or she can stay on that base as long as they want. They can continue to run if they want. Um, they can lead off. They can come back. Now our next kicker would come up, but a after that ball, the next ball is kicked. They can either stay here or they can go to the next base. So again, that's why we have orange and orange. Um, with the younger kids, if you're using this with younger ages, you might put up um, you know, cones with base one, base two. You can see base three is here. Base four comes across and base five. Now with base five, this is the only time that we tell our kids that they cannot um, steal. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and that is just a safety issue. We don't want the ball being rolled and have a kicker kick the ball off of one of our runners. So we tell our kids that if a ball is being pitched, they have to stay on the base until the ball is kicked. Now, if this pitcher, let's say we have a runner going from first to second, and this pitcher takes off and wants to go tag this runner, then this runner can actually go to base six. So what happens at base six? Well, that's actually where you score. And we tell our kids to raise a hand, which lets us know that they've scored for their team. And guess what? They get to go back to base one and continue running. So on a good inning, you can have kids all over the place, you know, going from two to three or three to four or four to five. Um, but it, again, once they score in six, they go back to one, and then they would just continue. If they score again, then that's another point. So we have plenty of kids that are just exhausted by the end of this game because they've gone around multiple times. Uh, variation for this, if you're playing with a bigger class, is you can have a kicker and then also a runner. So you can have them in partners. So they would both run to this base, but once they get to this base, they're kind of separate entities. It just gets the kids out and moving um, a, a lot more. Also one final variation, if you don't want kids throwing the ball at, at the other ball, you can say that it is tag only. Um, you know, we have done that in the past too. So this is one of our, this is one of the kids' favorite games that they enjoy playing here. And 
Thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, you can subscribe to my channel.